So today we're going to be playing a new Pokemon-like monster catching RPG that literally comes out later this week, and that is Coromon. Now, if you're a fan of Nexomon Extinction, Pokemon, or Temtem, this is probably the next best thing that you want to pick up until whatever else comes out. And luckily, they were able to give me a early access code to play this game for you guys early to showcase the game. If you guys want to check it out, you know, go pick it up. Coromon is on Steam, uh, pretty much all the consoles at this point. Now, right, if you guys would like a series on this, I'm not gonna, you no know, promise anything at all, right? But I'm gonna need some support on this joint. A thousand likes, maybe 500 likes minimum for at least a follow-up video. And then we'll gauge out wherever the like goes, we go. We're almost at 200,000 subscribers. Be sure to go check it out. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Let's get up into the video, man. Hello. Knock, knock. Hello. Rise and shine, honey. Didn't you hear your alarm? Don't close your eyes again. Today is your first day at work at Lux Solis. Why don't you put on something nice? You want to make a good impression? I don't want to get up, man. He's talking about some wake up nice. Now, honestly, what I like about this game, your skin color, I'm right here, thank you. Or no, I'm not right here. I'm like right here. Nah. I'm right here. I'll take that, right? This should be good enough. Uh, Next is going to be... Yo, the character is like, this is like, it reminds me of like an IMB, I, I'm bit, whatever, what are they called? It's like a bit something, I don't know. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me get this gold right here. Oh, I like that. Okay, okay, Picasso. Now they have hella options, hella options for this uh, hair. Jesus Christ. I remember last time I talked about not having black people hair and they have it, so I'm, I'm lit with that. This is me and my, this is me and my hair in a ponytail. This is me with just my hair down, you know? I'm gonna go and, this is my face. You can customize the face? That's kind of hard. Hold on, wait a minute. What, what is with these mustaches? Who looks like this IRL? Yo. Right, you got a big bowl face and then a small face. Yo, yo, get me out of the screen, bro. They have a bandana, a hat, a scully. You know what I'm saying? A couple of scullies. I, I, you know, a couple of a, a hair pin, you feel me? Okay, I, I mean, I, I feel you, but I kind of want my hair to rock. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. And this is what I look like now. Oh, I'm excited, dude. Because I remember me playing this game maybe a couple months ago. And maybe like a year ago as well. And like, it's finally done. Good morning, Nick. You look sharp. You're looking sharp. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You must be so excited. You're finally be going to become a Lux Solis Ballet Researcher. To celebrate your new job, I made a reservation at your favorite breakfast place. We can head there before going to the station. That sounds great. Come on. Dexter, dear, please keep an eye on the cakes in the oven. Okay, Mom. Wait, why are you not coming with us? I broke your squirmy rush high score last night, being by your little bro. Oh, he must be too young for it. Okay, that makes sense. A delicious breakfast later. Hello. How are we doing, folks? So here we are, Nick, at the starting line of your own adventure. Look at you, all grown up and choosing your own path in life. I'm a little sad to see you go. But I'm also very proud of you. Ever since you were little, you've been dreaming of working at Lux Solis. I know you're ready for this. Aw. That's why I got you a little something. I've been saving up for this day and you don't have to worry about gold. Here you go. Don't spend it all at once. 3000 That's it? I'm about to spend this all at once. Thanks, Mom. That's very sweet of you. I'll make good use of it. Glad to hear, honey. Oh, look. I can see the train approaching. Do you have everything you need? Your backpack, your ticket, clean underwear? Don't worry, Mom. I'm going to take care of myself. The train's about to depart. You better get on before it leaves without you. But first, a big hug. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, dear. Damn, G. Damn, G. Ba, ba, ba. Listen, bro. If your mom doesn't cry when, when you leave, listen to me. She don't like you, bro. <laughs> Trust me. All right, so there's difficulty options, right? You have easy. The difficulty is for trainers. You take it easy. Core mom will fully restore it. Rather than they level up. Okay, okay. No more backtracking. Uh, shop items are 50% cheaper. You can stock up on those healing items. When one of your Pokemon faints, you don't need to use a special revive item. Instead, you feed it any healing cake. Normal. This difficulty is for the regular experiences. No extra rules are applied. So this is regular. Okay. Hard. This difficulty is for trainers who want a challenge. If one of your Pokemon faints, it will leave your squad. Heeding the call of the wild, it returns to its habitat. You can't escape from any battle. Real trainers stand up for themselves. Insane. The most challenging difficulty, in addition to the rules of hard, 
You can't recall, you can't use any recall items for you to travel through Koromon habitats. You may only catch one Koromon in one area. Oh, this is the Nuzlocke. This is the Nuzlocke mode. I am going normal, sir. I am playing this right here. You can customize it though. Wait a minute. So if I can do healing on level up, yes. Hold on. I can, you can customize this. Uh, yes. I want this. <laughs> Listen, I, I don't give a damn. You can customize this whole thing. Hold on. I, I like this. This is like super crazy, right? Limit the amount of recoveries per trainer hub. Well, that's fire. What? Disable hell items. You're dumb. I would never. Disable escape. I would never. I would never. No limit. You can catch trainer Coromon too? Yo, what? They have a randomizer. Huh. Oh, I like this. Like, I, I like this a lot, actually. One per area, except perfects. Except potents and perfects. Uh, huh. Maybe. Uh, uh never mind. Because there's going to be different mods in every area. Uh, I feel so good to be here, finally, bruh. I've been waiting for this my whole time. This is one of those games I've been excited for this entire time. You must be the new battle researcher I've heard so much about. Getting is the only one that'll get you up to speed. Let me fetch one for you. Wow, ah, okay. Where's he at? Hmm. It looks like getting is out for lunch, but no worries. I can take a quick break to get you everything you need. Follow me. All right, let's go then. First of all, let me grab you a data chip. What does this do? Okay. The data chip is a nifty poke uh, chip for your gauntlet that will record every core mom related action you take. All the data is sent back to us where it is analyzed right here in this very lab. As an incentive for sending us oodles of interesting data, you'll be rewarded handsomely, of course. Okay. All right. Okay. Milestones and promotion bonuses can be redeemed right on your menu. Isn't that handy? It's pretty simple stuff. I'm sure you'll figure it out as you get more comfortable at the job. Oh, I like that. Yo, this game is very like, like user friendly. Like I like that a lot. Wow. I love that actually. All right. All right. You're almost good to go. Uh, but wouldn't you get far without our generous employee starter package? Spinner, two HP cakes, two SP cakes, and two luxury calls. Okay, and one type manual. All right. The type manual in there will be especially invaluable throughout your journey. I was just taking a quick gander at it before setting out. All right, so let me see what these things look like. So, normal, right? Times two damage to nothing. Half damage to, I think that's moon? Ghost, 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 okay. But, wait, it takes, it takes 0.5 damage from, from ghost and does negative 5 damage or negative, or does not, wait, what? Negative 0.5 damage to ghost. So it resisted, all right? And then times 2 damage from normal. Okay, I like this. It's time to get my starter now, though. Hello, sir. Hey. Nelson. Ah, oh, another black man in the area. Ah, oh, that smell. That smell of a starry-eyed battle researcher here to receive their first Koromon. Just hold tight a moment while I finish updating the Koromon connectifier. All right, well, thank you. That should do it. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Nelson, head of the Koromon lab. Let's connect you to the Koromon. We're running a series of tests out. Okay, got you, got you, got you. I can't wait. Please keep still during the scan, otherwise you might lose an arm. What? All right, let's do it. Wait, he just said that so casually. What's wrong with you? Wait, you can't tell somebody that. Like, I'm a, I'm a child. What's wrong with you, bro? I would not ask you a series of questions. Okay, okay, okay. You encounter my was your first reaction to see what it does. Attack it right away. Try to capture it. Of course, duh. Okay. What is your motivation for keeping a battery research? I want to. Uh... There you go. Here are my options. Yo, look at them. Taruga, okay. Uh, Cub Zero, and now the results of your analysis. Ah, I like this. I don't know about y'all, but I'm choosing my guy Taruga, dog. I don't, I don't give a damn. I'm choosing Taruga. Yes, Lord. I already have a good name for him and everything. Taruga. I'm nicknaming him. What is his nickname gonna be? What is his nickname gonna be? What is his name gonna be? Ooh, I have a fire name for him, bro. I'm gonna nickname him Ravi. What? 
Why, why is it not? Bro, move the damn way, bro. Robbie's is like a fire name, bro. Real talk. The algorithm never dies. All right, move, man. We're at the training grounds now. Hello, hi. Here we are. Here we are. First battle. First battle. Don't worry, it'd be a fair fight. I brought my niggle, niggle, nibble, niggle, <laughs> nibble gar, which is the same level as your tutorial. <laughs> Anywho, man, let's go see what the hell this is, man. Nibble gar. I hate that name for this damn thing. I like that smile on him, though. Picasso, I like this. Uh, level five, look at me. All right, slam this. We good, man. We are good, bro. But well, that was so easy. I mean, I didn't really do us, <laughs> didn't really do much. What's happening now? What's, what, what was that? Oh, thank you. Milestone achieve. All right. We defeated Nelson. Impressive. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you for the gas, my good sir. Anyway. Well done. You and your Pokemon are going to make quite a team. I just know it. Remember that you can visit the trainer hub on any time to your squad back to full health. Thank you. I should have probably took that half off. Yeah, I should have probably. Yeah, be right, hold on. Be right, be right back. Because they get charging $100 for some goddamn cake. That doesn't even heal up that much. I'm putting that gem on 50%. I don't even know who you think you are. Bro, items are 50% cheaper. Are you serious? What? At this point, I just got to steal from y'all because y'all got me messed up in here. I'm not about to, man. Listen, bro, what's going on right now, G? What? That's 50%? We we really, bro, gas already high outside in the real world. You want me to, you want me to be happy about this? We man, bring back. Bring it back, bro. Come on, G. What is this? We're setting up training exercises for all Lux Solus battles that can do there. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Oh, look at this. I'm in the Wi-Fi battles right now. The online battles, that's dope as hell. You just gotta go down in the uh the centers or the, the healing centers or whatever. That's dope. I like that. Okay. Da, 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 da. Hello. A spinner. Thank you. I appreciate you. And two. Oh yeah, I forgot these crates have like everything else in the world, bro. Real talk. I wonder what's in here though. Hello. R and D lab. Hey. Who though? Hi. Okay. You must be. The new battle researcher, Nick. Um, yeah, I am. Who are you? Ha, I knew it. My instincts never fail me. My name is Larry. And I will tell you about the magical world of the gauntlet. This way, please. All right. Here we are, the gauntlet module test area. The gauntlet on your arm is a technolog technological masterpiece. Besides carrying your core, I can do so much more. It's the multi-tool for Lux Solus employees. The gauntlet's modular, modular design... Uh, enables the user to install new functionalities on the go. Uh, what do you want me to do? What, what, what do I get? I'm going to show me some new stuff. It's calibrating the push module. She's optimizing the power so that it outputs at 100% capacity. Oh, my. And person is going to be a brand new module on his own. Let's say hi. What is he going to show us? Percy, my man, can you explain what you're working on for my new colleague? New battery just to get my project. It's quite simple. I started combining a spark plug together with flammable gas to create a combustion that's... Hold up. That's way too technical. Can you do this one instead? Lally, stand back, please. Oh, it's a fire joint. You could burn this stuff down. Whoa, careful, you pyromaniac. Sorry, I got a little carried away. It's okay. No one got hurt at this time. Thank you, Percy. Nick! What's good, Regal? I need to borrow Nick for a bit. There are some important matters I need to go over. Ah, so Nick is... This is the one you told me about earlier. Sure, you can borrow my protege. Well, as with most matters in life, the stink module can wait. I'll be hanging out... Wait, what? By the bridge in Meridian Park. Come to see me when you're done. What is this? What is all this? Welcome to the restricted access area. Quite pretty impressive, no? What is this photo thing in front of me? It's called a task force. A Titan task force is all about. It's called a Titan essence. It started manifesting in Valua a couple months ago. What does it do? It's up to this task force to figure that out. A team to which you will be valuable in addition. You want me to join a Titan task force? Yes, we do. You show such great motivation that I had to make sure you were assigned to this team. Anyway, these Titan essences will slowly disintegrate without the right containment device. Recently, though, we've made a massive breakthrough in our research. 
We developed a gauntlet module, which will bring us one step closer to dancing the Titan Essence. This module, the Essence Collector, is able to stabilize Titan Essence. We, okay, 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 okay. The Titan Essence in this lab was embedded with an elemental Titan on Donor Island. But this isn't the only one in existence. We've pinpointed the location of six of these Titan Essences in Velour. Our hypothesis is that we can manage to contain them together. Only then will we be able to show their true potential. I'll do my best. Tuko, would you mind handing me the module? Of course. We have the co Essence Collector. Okay. The closest Titan Essence is guarding, guarded by Voltgar, the Bender of Storms. Do you see Donor Island on the southeast side of the map? They're in the Power Tower. Volgar bends the weather and guides thunderstorms towards the island. Before you can use the Essence Collector module, we need to get it installed into your gauntlet. That's precise. That's, that's a precise task. Only one person will look at the name of his parent. Okay, he's a blacksmith in Hayville. Okay, got it. All right, well, I guess that's going to be it for this. Yeah, I mean, so we have to collect. So, okay, so there's a, this, that's definitely different. I barely remember a lot of, uh, a lot of this stuff now that I'm like actually playing the game. Very interesting task for this is on myself. So many chests here. Well, all right, I mean, I'm just going to end this off right here. If you guys would like another video, let me know in the comment section below. I will uh, talk to you all in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.